to my channel. So um, I know that last time I kind of went through all things about, you know, West Coast and how my first semester went for school. And I'm really glad that you guys like that. So what I decided to do is basically like a part two um, and be more specific about, you know, certain classes. And I'm going to do this on my channel a lot more because I just find that a lot of my DMs are people asking about, you know, how to get through certain classes that most people know are pretty time consuming and difficult. And I want there to be, um, you know, just resourceful things on my channel. We'll have like fun things too, but I really want to touch on the things that people really need help with in school because my focus is nursing school and nursing life and all that kind of stuff. So I want to get into how to pass anatomy. And I'm going to say pass because I see a lot of videos that say how to get an A plus in anatomy. And let's be honest, a lot of people aren't trying to stress themselves out to get an A. They just want to make sure that if I follow certain steps or if I can take recommendations from people, will this get me to pass the class? So my focus is, you know, not that I, I want people to be like, oh, I just want the bare minimum. No, I'm just going to give you guys a tip so that you can set yourself up to pass. Um, you know, you don't necessarily, not everybody wants the 4.0. Not everybody uh, can handle you know, a lot that goes into achieving a 4.0 and that just may not be the end goal for some people. So I just want to give you guys my tips and tricks to pass anatomy. Um, and yeah, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so if you guys see me looking at my iPad a lot, it's because I have notes on here and I just didn't want to miss anything. Um, so if I need to reference it, I will, but let's just see how far I can get without it. So again, I have my coffee. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I drink a lot of coffee. Uh, I'm a nurse and I'm a mom, so do the math. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be drinking this when I'm thinking, when I'm really trying to ponder on some, some deep thoughts about anatomy and having flashbacks. So um, yeah, if you see me sipping on the coffee, it's because trying times, guys, trying times. Okay, so first part of anatomy. I want to show you guys my books or book. Um, and I say book because one of my books is uh, some an e-book that um, I basically just had bought from the student store, the virtual student store, and then I downloaded it onto my iPad. And um, I would I didn't like I told you guys before I didn't use that book. Um, I think I used it once or twice for a discussion post, and that was it. So go show you how much we use in anatomy, the theory part of it. So that was my theory book, and that is on my iPad. So. That's a little different. But um, for lab, we actually, let me pull that to the side, but we used the fetal pig version of the Human Anatomy and Physiology Laboratory Manual. So this is the book right here. Um, I'm not a real YouTuber. I don't know how people do that thing where they put their, well, this is too big, but when they put their hand behind, I'm just not that cool. But um, yeah, this is the book that we use. So there's that, got a little man on the bike, but this is the uh, fetal pig version. And I know some people get confused, they're like fetal pig version, it's based off what you're going to be dissecting. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to find out which one it is, it's just in the upper left hand corner. So pay attention to that. So if your instructor says, oh, it's going to be the 13th edition, don't just go out and go get any 13th edition of um, the human anatomy book. Ask, you know, if they don't specify it, and I'm sure they will. Make sure you get the right version so you can follow along if you need it. But like I told you guys before, we didn't really use this book. The only reason uh, we actually even touched this book is because we had homework assignments and that was for lab class. So for lab, we really just would go into the class and um, our professor would start talking to us and just download us with a bunch of information. Um, but we didn't, we never were like, go to page 75 and re no, never happened. That's not the type of professor he is. Now I'm sure there's, a million other ways that uh, anatomy lab classes are taught at an accelerated program but um, for West Coast that's just not the way that they taught it to us we didn't use our book like that so only used it for my homework and I want to show you guys an example of my homework this was what we did so I only used my book um, I only used this to tear out these pages and these are review pages so you know when you read a chapter at the end of it you get those review pages like oh did you get it did you understand the content these are the review pages. Now, uh, how do I say this in a way that um, isn't terrible? Uh, please save yourself the time when you are doing your homework. Um, a lot, you know, you can find all the answers in your human anatomy book. Yes, you can. 
and they are all in there and it's very easy to do this homework but when you have to study for your lab class and your I'm sorry when you study for your theory class um, you want to have as much time as possible to do that so here's uh, something that I hear students do did I do this absolutely not not at all um, you can uh, go online and um, there from what I hear that uh, there is help with this on Quizlet did I do that absolutely not but you can find some of these answers if they get difficult on Quizlet that is all I'm going to say because I never did that no 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 um, but yes this is the homework that we did uh, this is a couple of pages, so he would just give us a couple of chapters, and he would be like, read it. Um, I'm sorry, he didn't even say read it, actually. He just said do the homework and then turn it in. So every Thursday, I would come into, uh, I would come on campus, go to class, and he would say, first thing in the beginning of the class, you have your homework, turn your homework in, and get ready to take a quiz. That's really how that went. So make sure your homework is done before you get to class. I know some people think they can do it in class. Never happens. There's never any time. He does not play none of that so make sure your homework is done before you get in class and this really does not take that long you know even if you're following along with the book and you just want to find the answers that way or you know sit down with a group of friends and you they do one section you do another um that was really helpful sometimes so however you want to do it and when you do this i'm not going to lie to you the way that this accelerated program is set up you go by things so quickly that there really is no time for you to really read the entire lab book, like to read all these chapters, do your homework, and then turn around and do your theory work as well. Like it's just, there is a lot. So when you're doing your homework, don't pressure yourself to read the chapter as well. If you want to, by all means, I'm sure that would make an even greater student. You're probably that 4.0 student that I just wish I can be through and through. But like I said, I have so much going on. I have work, I have, you know, school, I'm a mom. So all that just wasn't in the cards for me so i would just do my homework i'd be finished with my homework i did not read from this book i never read any of those chapters i referenced pictures for maybe some of the quizzes but i never read that book and i did just fine in lab class so don't pressure yourself to see that big book and be like oh my god after no so that's the on the homework um, let me see. What else did I want to talk to you guys about? Okay, so my class schedule. So when it came down to lab, um, my lab class, like I said, was on Thursdays, and that class was from 4 to 8, and my theory class was on Mondays from about 6 to 9.45. So if you can imagine that is a lot of time to be in class, um, don't feel, you know, don't, what's, how did I feel? When I first saw my schedule, I was kind of excited because I like being on campus, um, I just like that that professor to teacher interaction when it comes to certain classes now for an English class no don't waste my time <laughs> but for anatomy I was really excited to just kind of see what it was all about um, so when I saw the hours I was kind of excited because I was just like okay that gives me enough time to you know kind of ask my questions learn material so I was really excited about that um yeah so there's usually about three to four hours of class and in that time and let's start off with theory. So my theory class, which was on that Monday, was about three hours. And in that time, uh, let me just give you a breakdown. We walk in, um, you know, if there was, well, every Monday there was a quiz. So um, let me kind of backtrack because it's, it's a lot. So our class was at six o'clock. At four o'clock, our, our instructor, professor, doctor, however you want to say it, he would offer a tutoring class. So I was always on campus two hours before class he had even started because he offered a tutoring class in which he would go over, uh, you know, the material from the previous week. Like he would review it all, make sure we understood it so that when we took our quiz at six o'clock, we understood. So that is the perfect, perfect time to ask all of your questions that you, you know, kind of didn't want to ask in class or you didn't know how to form that question. Have all your questions written down or if you know them off the top of your head ask those questions go to tutoring because people hear tutoring you're like oh I'm like that just doesn't sound go to tutoring the professor the doc whatever they will literally break it down for you to the point where they damn near give you the answer to the quiz i don't know how many times i went to tutoring and i was like 
oh my god like I'm so scared about this quiz like I don't know if I studied the right stuff like I don't know if I did this right when asked all my questions and about five of those questions were on the quiz and that's <laughs> those points save you so um go to tutoring if they offer it um we're talking about west coast so they do offer it um I know that it's kind of weird right now but I'm sure there's some type of virtual setup that they're going to have going on but still utilize it um now you're at the comfort of your own home so you, you can go to tutoring um and just you know ask all those questions because there's there's just so much that you learn while you're in class you just want to make sure specific stuff that you have questions about can get answered so make sure you go to tutoring um what else so yeah so i went to tutoring that was from about three uh four to six and then at six o'clock we go into class we put all of our stuff you know you can't have anything near you obviously west coast is very big on you know cheating and all that kind of stuff so you take your bag you put it in the front of the class um the only thing you keep with you is a pencil uh and maybe a pen and you sit down and he'll give you a quiz and i think our quizzes had about 30 questions i think 30 questions i get confused between lab and theory but i think about 30 questions and um for you know they give you like a minute a minute and a half to do each question so in total we probably got about 30 to 35 minutes to take our quiz that had 30 questions so um there's that and they they do the timing of the questions because when you take your NCLEX ultimately that is the end goal um you are timed so they don't want you to be comfortable having three hours to take a 30 minute quiz because in the end you're going to be hurting yourself when you're taking the NCLEX, NCLEX and you're taking 20 years to answer one question so they're, they're just prepping you um, but don't get scared it's more than enough time than you need especially if you study and you go to tutoring you you fly through the questions like you you don't have any problems so we take your quiz and then um what do i want to tell you guys oh yeah so you take your quiz and then you you uh go outside so everyone will take their quiz and slowly but surely people start trickling off walking out the door because they're finished um and then you wait for uh everyone to finish and then he'll call you back inside Sometimes in that that time he's able to run quizzes through the machine. So sometime within the night you'll have your uh, your score, um, which is a good and bad thing because if you did really bad, you don't want to be sitting next to your classmates that are like, "What did you get? What did you get? What did you get? What did you get? And you're just like, "Girl, shut up! No, I failed. Like, I don't want to talk about it." <laughs> and I can't even tell you how many times that I would just be like, "Y'all, we're not gonna talk about it." Like we took our, we're not gonna talk about it. Not right here, not here, not now, because it's stressful. I don't, shut up! I don't want to talk about it. Like I was really irritated, even though I was doing great. I just did not want to talk about it. Like there was times I missed qu like one question, or two questions, and I would just be like, I sh I should have got that right. I should have got that right. But yeah, so um, you'll get you'll probably get your your quizzes back in the middle of class. Now I'm not like physically handed back to you. They all show up on Blackboard. Um, you'll get a notification that says like human anatomy graded so yeah that's how that goes and um for the rest of the class really what he's doing is going through powerpoints and um if you guys are cool i just wanted to show you guys what my powerpoints look like now i have told you guys my thing is really dirty my son was playing on it but um this is my ipad it's an ipad mini um this is kind of what it looks like it's very small very petite um it does a trick and i like it so i can carry it around and then i have the pencil now, I'm showing you guys all of this because when it comes to the PowerPoints, our professor was kind of like, that's all you need. You don't need to read the book because I'm giving you the content that you need in order to pass this class. And I was like, oh, word, I'm about to read nothing. Like, I'm about to do these little, you said PowerPoint, right? So let me get to it. So I used, let me get out of this. I used an app called Notability. And our professor would post all the lectures on Blackboard under Instructor Blog. Um, that's where he has his lectures that he can't teach in class because there just isn't enough time to do all that. Um, so the lectures that he'll give some lectures in class and then the rest you just go online and watch the videos. And then also in that same spot is where you find your PowerPoints. What I did was I downloaded those PowerPoints into Notability, which is the app that I'm telling you guys about. And then from that app, I'm able to write on the PowerPoint. So, you know, on a regular desktop or laptop, you can just kind of watch the PowerPoints through and put type the notes at the bottom. I didn't want to do that. Um, I'm a very visual learner, so this is what I did. Let me close out of this app to make my life easier. Okay, so that's note. You definitely cannot see that, but um, that's Notability. I'm gonna insert a clip or something, but that's Notability. And basically, what you do, it's just my lights are so bright, that's why you guys can't see anything. I'll insert it because I don't want to make life difficult. Um, 
but basically like I'm able to scroll through the PowerPoints and I was able to like write on them as well. So it's, it's really helpful. Um, I would definitely recommend an iPad to students that go to West Coast just because, uh, is it mandatory? No, 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 no. by no means is it mandatory. But do you want to be printing out PowerPoints every single week and blowing money like that? No, you probably don't. But if you have a printer and that's your preference, by all means. I'm just saying that this is a lot easier because in a matter of seconds, like some days I'll be like, oh crap, I forgot to download it. It would take me two seconds to download this in the middle of class and then start following along with the lecture. And basically what he was, when he was like doing his lecture, I would basically just be doing this. I was just writing and writing and okay, cool, da 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 and at the same time, there's also a microphone button up here um, on the app. So I just pressed that and he would be talking. So basically what I did was when he was speaking, I'd be writing and then the app would basically, it, it was like synchronizing it. So whatever slide I was on matched what he was saying. So it's just a really cool app, guys. I would really recommend it, especially for anatomy because it's just a lot, you know? And um, so, yeah, so even if you don't have an iPad or, you know, you can't afford it because we are students and parents and stuff, totally get it. Um, what you can do is if you're following along on paper notes, uh, paper PowerPoint, what I would recommend is have your notes, have maybe some color, um, colored pens. And what you can do is basically, you know, take notes, go old school, take your notes and have your cell phone out and record it from the recording app or the recording thing that's on most iPhones, um, just hit record, set it to the side, and then just take your notes as normal. And then when you get home, you can just play it back, just label the recording so you know what day it's from and what section. And boom, bam, there you go. So either way, there's lots of ways to take notes. Not everybody, don't don't feel like everybody has an iPad because I only seen like a couple people with one. You're not alone if you don't have one. You're not going to be the oddball out. Like, no, 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 no. Um, but what I feel like you do need for school, though, especially when it comes to anatomy class, just because, like I said, PowerPoints um, and because, well, you have to have a laptop for West Coast. It's not even a question. Um, this is mine. Very just, I don't even know which one. I think this is, an, yeah, MacBook Air. So this is a MacBook Air. I believe it costs like, I got this when I was in uh, American Career College. I think it costs like roughly $1,200. I got it from Best Buy. Awesome possum. It's great for, um, you know, blackboard discussion posts, stuff like that. So it does its job. I like it very much and I'm very grateful um, to have one. So that's the stuff I was using for my theory class. And um, like I said, you're going to learn all of, you know, you're going to have lectures and stuff in the middle of class. And then you go home and you review your lectures and, and you know, everything you recorded, play it back at home. So that is a tip that I really want to get you guys to like, you know, pay attention to when you record something in class, make sure that you go home and listen to it. Do not go home and I don't know, go on Instagram and start watching the shade room. And no, like you need to listen to your recordings again, or maybe on your way home, play it again so that it sticks in your head because it will go in one ear and out the other. As soon as that nine o'clock, but like nine o'clock button, nine o'clock hits like right when you hit and you're ready to go out of class you will be like okay that like you literally need to make sure that you are retaining the information that you learned you just spent three hours learning it make sure it sticks so look at your notes again play back the lecture all of that and it should only take you like an hour so just run the lecture back or look at your notes skim through it just make sure it's sticking for you and then you're good. Like you don't have to overwhelm yourself. Don't be like, oh, I just got to have a three hour class. Like I'm not about to sit up here and look at no notes. Play it back real quick or look at your notes real quick. It doesn't take that long. So, um, that's definitely a tip I would recommend for you guys. And, um, when it came to setting, to be honest, between, um, you know, Monday to Sunday, I had to get very creative. Um, I worked in the morning and then I worked at night. And in between that, I went to school. Um, so the way I studied is I would play my lectures in my car on the way to work. I would play my lectures and I would listen, you know, have my, my AirPods in and I would listen through my, my AirPods. Um, that's basically how I did that. I didn't do anything, uh, crazy. I, I don't think I was doing anything that was like, Oh my God, groundbreaking. Like I was playing my lectures in my ear all day and it was kind of sticking that way. And then I would, I would be so like, 
I would damn near had the lecture memorized because I would hear it all day. And then I would go home and then I'd be able to look on my iPad and just go through notes. And I'd be like, oh yeah, because da 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 microvilli and da 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 this this. So things were starting to come together because I had been listening to it all damn day. So you can listen to lectures in the car uh, when you're at work if you have that ability. I do home health at night. So I was able to just play it in my head and watch videos if I needed to because home health is very just steady going. So um, that's basically what I did when it came to studying. And I did that every day I listened to my lectures and, um, you know, would skim through my notes. I never really kind of sat down and just like, um, not until the weekend. And that's if I had time. So you got to squeeze in your studying where you can. And don't, don't feel like it's not enough because it's not four hours at a time. I think Instagram and social media gives off this vibe like, wow, she can really study for like six hours and never move. And she's just awesome. And look at her with her coffee and her cute setup. Like, babe. That was for a picture like I guarantee you that probably lasted tops maybe an hour and a half two hours like and people have different schedules so even if they are able to sit there for six hours that's not your life like so don't feel like you have to compare the two if you're on the go and you have stuff to get done and your kids are in sports or if you have things to do find other ways to study like traditional studying and sitting down all day is probably not half the people that go to West Coast most people work that go to West Coast. So you got to get creative people. You got to, you got to figure it out. So I definitely would recommend, um, you know, having your earphones, playing them at work and playing in the car, playing your free time. And, um, you know, and you can also have your notes on your phone. Like what a time to be alive, y'all. What a time to be alive. Like you can definitely just send them over and email them to yourself and look at them that way. Like there's just so many ways that you can study on the go. Um, and that's how I did most of my setting. I know I posted a lot on Instagram, but that was just like in intervals of like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, one, I'm a very antsy person and I can't sit down for a long time. So that is why uh, my, my setting sessions were very short. The only time I was really sitting down for a long time is when I was writing papers and doing discussion boards. So there's that. Um, so yeah, that is the theory part of human anatomy. Um, I'm also going to go and let's just get into to lab um, because I don't know if a lot of people know this. Um, there is this new kind of equipped virtual experience that West Coast has come up with called the HoloLens, which is like a hologram in the lint, glasses lens. So HoloLens. And um, basically what you are getting in this lab class is the lack of dissections is due to this crossover that they've created where you are wearing uh, basically a virtual experience on your eyes. So you basically put on these hologram uh, glasses and you can see the entire human body, uh, you know, through a hologram and you're able to dissect and just, they'll teach you how to do it, but you basically dissect and pull apart parts of the body so you can kind of visualize it and see it and everything's up close and it's really cool and awesome. Does it give you a headache? Yes. But it's a very cool experience. Um, and that's kind of why they don't really do a lot of dissections with actual animals and stuff at West Coast because they've created this virtual experience where you're pretty much doing it uh, you and you do a lot more. Now, do I did I like the experience? No, and I will tell you why. Because for me personally, um, the way it was set up was not beneficial to me. Um, they have incorporated this so quickly into the curriculum that I don't think a lot of professors are able to kind of figure out at the moment how to utilize this. And what I mean is we would come into lab class, we would take our quiz, he would talk to us about the content that we needed to know, and then we would go to the HoloLens class, the last hour of the class, and then I realized very easily and very quickly, I was like, oh, the HoloLens isn't has that okay, sorry about that my camera had cut off but um yeah so I would get to hollow the, the hollow lens portion and I was like wait we didn't learn that in class and that's not the fault of the professor it's just there's a there's a lot to get into when it comes to anatomy and it's like these professors don't have enough time um so when you I know it's gonna be how do I want to say this you will get frustrated because you go into class you take a quiz and then you learn material about you know, you just start learning all this content and then you realize you get into the HoloLens 
and you haven't learned that that system you know you could be taking a quiz that's 10 questions on you know a uh, lymphatic system and you didn't learn about the lymphatic system in class the thing is your professors know this they know they are trying to follow the curriculum and also still teach you all there is to know about anatomy and there just isn't enough time so i you will get upset but don't take it out on your professors because it, it's not their fault um give them give them time to explain to you how they will work with you and how they are going to make this work for you um my initial reaction was like what like how do you how do you grade me on one thing and then you, you do this and you do that I didn't give my professor enough time to explain to us that yes we have to do this HoloLens because it is a requirement by the school and is it cool sure yeah awesome am I going to grade you heavily on this and this is going to be the end all be all if you do not pass you know these quizzes I'm just you're you're done no there was many times where I would get many, many questions wrong on the HoloLens when we took our little 20-part uh, quiz at the end. He was just kind of like, do better next time, and uh, all right. And the way he's able to do that is basically I would take my quiz. Now, the quiz that you take when you first walk into class, that is the quiz that you study for. That is the one where you can go home and be in your book and look at diagrams and stuff. And really get the feel of the content so that you are ready for your quiz when you come into class. That is the one that you want to focus on. What the HoloLens is, you are still having the virtual glasses on. And you are kind of pinpointing and picking what part is what. And this highlighted part would be what part of the body and this and that. That one is a 20 part uh, quiz. And he only really focused on about this much of your grade on that. So what I mean by that is if you got 100% on the quiz you took in the beginning and then missed five or six of the questions on the HoloLens out of 20, you're probably still going to walk out with an A because it happened to me. I was missing so many questions on the HoloLens and I was just like, my one, my brain was burnt out from all the extra stuff that we did in class. Then turn around and tell me I got to learn this at the end of class that I've never seen before and then take a quiz on it. First of all, it was hot. Okay. And let me tell you why it was hot because I was tired and I saw other people doing so great on it and I was just doing so shitty, to be honest. So when I took my first one, I was just like, oh my God, like I missed so many and everyone else did so good. And then I get in the car and I see my grade upload and I was like, oh, oh baby, that's an A. So I was like, oh, what? Hold on now, champs. I was like, we may have something here. So I quickly realized um, he was grading us more on what we studied for. He was being fair, you know? How can he expect so much from us on the HoloLens when we don't have, we don't get to prepare the way we do for our quizzes? So he, he knew. Um, I say all that to say this, bear with your professors at West Coast. It's an accelerated, accelerated, good Lord, an accelerated program through and through, and those professors are there to be on your side. What do they look like having students fail all their classes? Like, you got to put two and two together, babe. They want to keep their jobs. They want to they want to see you do well. Like, So they're going to incorporate whatever the school tells them to incorporate. But at the same time, they are professors and they are people. So do the work the way it's needed to be done. But understand that there's going to be a lot of curves and waves and things because they understand and they want to see you do well. So don't stress yourself out when you get into a certain part of the class and you realize that, hey, like, hold up. We didn't get to study for that. They already know that. They know that. So just let them do their job and you, you just meet them halfway. That's all I got to say because I had some very understanding professors. So meet them halfway and you will see how it will work out for you. Because I got I did, got a great grade in lab and I was doing crappy on the HoloLens. But I did great on my quizzes. So just, just do what they say and meet them halfway. We love quotes. Um, okay, so yeah, that is how I got through lab. Uh, basically, for the most part, those first quizzes that I was taking, um, I have really good visual memory. So I didn't have really any problems when it came to studying like the bones. Uh, specifically, we learned the, you know, we learned the humerus, uh, ra like we just learned the bones and that was the real hands on. Uh, we learned the bones, uh, certain bones, not all the bones. It's not like we had 100 bones laid out. He had like three or four at a time and we take a quiz on that it's very in part don't don't worry um we did bones 
uh, we did the brain, a brain dissection, and then we had to, uh, he basically had it like a brain split open and basically told us to like, what is this, what is that? So that's basically how we did that. And um, again, very easy. The brain was like half open and he would have like five labels and you'd have to label that. Um, easy. Just study what he tells you to and it's very easy. Um, what else did we have? So we had the bones, we had the brain. Uh, what else can I think of? We had the heart, another dissection of the heart. Um, you know, and he would cut it sagittally or however he would do it. I think it was, yeah, don't quote me. But, um, and then, he, oh, no, 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 it wasn't cut, I'm sorry. He just had it, like, the cow's heart, and then we kind of just little things on it, and you would just label it. Um, so it was easy. It wasn't like there was, I think there's this idea that when you have lab class at West Coast that there's just, like, a million bones laid out. And it's a freaking free-for-all, and you just haul ass and go grab a bone and just start trying to label stuff. And, no, babe, there isn't enough time for all that. So, um, just allow allow your fears to move through your body because everything is gradual um, but accelerated, if that makes any kind of sense. So they're not throwing all this stuff at you and telling you, go full speed and take it on. No, no. If you were going to learn about the heart, they're going to teach you about the heart and you're going to have a quiz about specific things because they can't have you know the entire heart within a week. Like, let's be real. So, um, yeah, just study exactly what he tells you to study because he will tell you exactly what to study. Um, and he will tell you how to get that A. If you were looking for an A, he will tell you how to get it. And trust me, lots of people walked out with A's because he told us exactly, listen to me, exactly what to study so that you pass. Okay? So, um, just pay a lot of attention and record. You can record the professors unless they tell you otherwise. So, uh, I mean, like, you know, voice record. Not, I don't think any of them really want you to, like, record them. Like, this ain't YouTube. But, um, you know, just pay attention to what they say. Um... And, you know, I really wanted to get into, if you guys are cool with it, um, I'm going to show you this planner that I used. And I didn't get this until probably like the sixth week in out of the ten. So uh, that kind of incorporated it into what I was already doing. Prior to this planner, I had a happy planner, which is still amazing. And I still use it because it just has a little bit more space in it. But um, my homegirl, and I will put her info in here, um, she created this planner. And it's so you would think that this is like a textbook. No, I'm not even going to insult her like that. You would think that this is just something like just, just, just extra amazing because, okay, it's called the Navy Blues and I think that's so cute because it's like this little like uh, marble planner. It's so cute. But um, basically what she did is she gave you a spot and I kind of just use this because the days are all in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if you guys can see that. But yeah, basically she has like a whole breakdown of like the days and so you're just able to like schedule in times and I'm going to like leave the info in my description box and I should have done this on the last video because it is so helpful but it's like a Monday through Sunday and you're able to like the hours are on here so it has like 6, 7, 8 a.m., 9 a.m. and it's helpful because if you're trying to break down your days some planners don't have that time kind of like maneuvering where you can specifically put what you're going to do at each time so you can basically plan out your day and stick to it now if you stick to it by the end of the day, you're like, okay, cool, got everything that I need to get done, done. You don't stick to it, obviously, you're going to be in the shitter. But like, <laughs> but if you, I just like the way she did her planner, because as someone who kept looking for planners that had specific times that I could, you know, at 6 a.m. I want to do this, or 7 a.m. I want to do that, like, I needed the times on here, because, yeah, you give me the day, but like, I, now I got to write in what time, maybe I don't want to do that. So... I love how she did that and then also because a lot of you guys are you know maybe paying some portion of your tuition out of pocket or you know there's other bills and stuff she also has in here where you can can you guys see that is it helpful um but she also has where you can put your bills and stuff so I thought that was really cool because I was just like oh your monthly expenses like how much you plan to make from work or whatever money you get coming in you can kind of basically break that down and the reason I'm mentioning this in here is because when you are doing a lot of classes at one time, the goal is to stay on top of it. So, you know, throughout my videos, I'll reference stuff like this planner. Um, I'll even throw in some virtual ones. If virtual, do people say virtual? No, that's not virtual. Like apps, apps you can use because I just want people to have the resources that they need in order to get through their classes. Um, I use the, the calendar on iPhone for stuff. I use the reminder app like I mentioned before. I use this planner. I just need to be reminded all the time. I have a lot going on in my head that I would rather put on paper and 
set it aside and have to keep up here. Like I'm trying to retain bones and brains and 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 die. I don't have time to remember stuff like that. So I specifically just I I get really excited about this stuff because I actually I'm one of those people that actually keeps up with my planners. So um, I'm gonna leave the information for her planner below, and I might actually do a giveaway because that would be really cool. I've already done one, but I think I'm gonna do another one because. I just love it so much. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just give you guys uh, some stuff that I use through and that, that are really helpful to me. And um, hopefully it helps you guys, too, because there's just a lot. There's being in school is a lot. So um, I really hope that this video helps. And like I said, I'm going to insert, um, you know, how I was able to, like, uh, do my PowerPoints and stuff like that. And yeah, because it, it, it's a lot. So I'm going to try to insert some clips of me using um, the PowerPoint like Notability app and um, maybe like one other app if I can squeeze that in here and just kind of give you guys an idea of what it looks like to actually use Notability app and kind of how that works. So if you guys enjoyed this, I would really like if you guys could like comment and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, please do all those things and comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, we can get into that. I tried to keep this video short, but we are clearly approaching like a good 35 minutes, 40 minutes. So that's okay because I really hope that this was all the information that you guys needed. And, um, so that's anatomy. And then hopefully I will have, well, no, I will pass physiology and then I'll have a video for you guys, um, on that. And, um, we'll have some other stuff on the way too, but, uh, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed it and um, let me know what you guys want to see next. Thanks guys. Bye.